Okay, Tov, good morning. Uh, welcome to our three minute daily dose of Torah studying. Uh, Pirkei Avot again, uh, Mishnah, Perak Gimel, this, uh, this week, Perak Gimel, looking at Mishnah Dalid, which teaches the following that if someone were told, Rabbi Chanin Mechanai Chaya says, Hane Orba Laila, someone who is up at night, Bahamalech Beder Chichidi, and someone who travels on a path, is out there walking around uh, alone. And someone who uh, who empties his heart, his thinking, levatala for for uh, unimportant matters. We'll just translate it that way. He is mortally guilty. And commentaries, uh, many of them read this as all interlinked. You should read it this way. I'll, tell you, I'll share with you the Bartanur's reading. You're up at night and you're going on your journey. And you're up at night. You're on your journey by yourself, and you think about foolish things. This person is mortally guilty because, you know, nighttime is a very dangerous time. It's as man as mazikim, uh, and, the, and the spooks are out. And if you're going on, out on your own, on, a, on, a, on, a, on the road, on your own, and you're, and you're endangering yourself, let's say, because of the, the uh, bandits that are out there, and other things that will harm you. But if he just would have allowed himself to think about Torah matters, in that circumstance, when he's out there, high time is Shamarto, it would have protected him. But uh, no, you talked about foolish matters, and so you know what? You're just not protected at all. That's how the Bartonur reads it, and many read it that way. But uh, the simple reading of this Mishnah that they present to the Mishnah, Rabbi Chani, Chani, Chani ben Chanicha, gives you th- kind of three different areas in which he considers a person not taking care of himself. One is to be up late at night. This is how Meiri seems to read it. Um, it's, it's, uh, you're up late at night, and you're not getting enough rest. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, that's the world we live in with, uh, not just once we were electrified, once we had coffee, once we were electrified. Um, and then once we have uh, computers and televisions and the like, so we're up to all hours, we're not getting enough sleep. So that's mitchayev enough show. You're not taking care of yourself. Hamalech b'der chichidi. You're, you're traveling outside, uh, and, and this stays the same. You're, you're traveling by yourself. You're, you're really not looking after yourself either, so you should just understand. Um, you've done a bad thing. You have to always be uh, putting yourself in, in, in protected scenarios. And then thirdly, hamfaneli bolavat someone who just uh, empties his, his, uh, his heart of, of, of important matters, and instead disengages in, 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 in foolish things, um, so that's also somehow you, you haven't taken care of yourself. You haven't taken care of yourself. Uh, you'll just become a person who is, uh, the English translation likes the word desolute um, or uh, confused. But, uh, but that's really true. That if, if we just keep on looking for empty things for ourselves, then what have we done to ourselves? What have we done? We're not responsible for our for our well-being in that. These are three different categories. Some ones you some you understand you didn't take care of your, your body, uh, and, and the other one you, you really you put yourself in a in a, in a in a in a danger with you know being attacked. And the third is your spiritual well-being. These are all things we have to be thinking about all the time, uh, and uh, to, so that we are not mortally guilty, but indeed mortally responsible and mortally developed. Have a great day.